Hi all, Will Wyvern here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another uh, Tarot Oracle review. Now this deck is the Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Now let me just start by saying this. This deck is very, very confusing. There are about four, maybe five, maybe six different cultures, genres, uh, religious beliefs all mingled into this deck. It's not like a deck on Celtic beliefs or Norse beliefs or Kematism. It's just all tied in together. And when I first started working with this deck, it really confused the heck out of me. I couldn't, I couldn't really connect to the deck to understand what she was trying to get across. But the more I worked with this deck and the more I did readings and the more I practiced, it began to kind of make sense. And over time, this has turned into one of my favorite decks. It's very confusing. It's hard to learn, but it's a beautiful deck, and the way she did it, it makes sense once you learn it. So the learning curve is very steep, but it's, it's a nice deck. I really like it. And the guidebook is, in this case, the guidebook is a necessity. You really need to take some time to read and study and learn the guidebook. Once you understand what she's trying to do, then you'll understand how these cards work together. And saying that, let me go ahead and flip through the cards so you can see what I'm talking about. So the first card is Shadow. Bring them up a little bit. The next one is Selkie. Kraken, Dragon, Kelpie, Hell, Hades, Skyla. Now, some people are going to use the English pronunciations. Some people will use the native culture pronunciation. It's whatever's easiest for you. Cerberus. Now this one, it's an, an Alaskan god or goddess, and the way the Alaskans pronounce it is Gunu Kadite. But the way the English pronounce it is a little bit different. The way the Russians pronounce it is a little bit different. So it's whatever works for you. Then this one is Apuch, Sybil, Mermaid, Mithras, Persephone, Minotaur, and as you can see, it's all kinds of genres, it's all kinds of cultures. We've got some Greek, we've got some Egyptian, we've got Russian, we've got Celtic, we've got Norse. It's all kind of jumbled together. Sharn, Nyx, Hypnos, Hecate, then this is another one that's pronounced different. Mormolikia, Circe, Kali, Anubis, Morgan, Lemur, Vampire, Werewolf, Mirbadon, Arnese, Shimmer, Banshee, Yormungundur, Harpy, Hydra, Ketchi, Fetch, Kushi, Sheila Nagig, Sphinx, Ishi, Valkyrie, Medusa, and Pucha. Now, as I said, the pronunciation, I'm sure some of you are going to say he pronounced that wrong. There are like three or four different ways to pronounce some of those cards. So 
The size of the cards, again, I, you know I like the bigger cards, and these are three and, well, three and a half by five. So they're a good size card. They're the back of them. They've got the red metallic on the edge. They're nice and sturdy. They're a nice card. I've had this card. I've had this deck for over a year, and I've used it I don't know how many times. And the cards are still almost brand new looking. So, saying that, again, you can see there are several different backgrounds with this deck. It goes into different cultures, different countries, different beliefs. So it ties in together, but you have to learn first. You have to study the book. You have to work a lot with the deck. And based on that, based on it's a good guidebook, it's a good size card, they're quality cards, the artwork is beautiful, but since it does have a long and tedious, not tedious, but hard, you need to practice as a long learning curve, I am going to give the Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle one, two, three, four out of five Raven Skulls. So that's the Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Four out of five Raven Skulls. Thank you. Have a great day.